All right, let's turn our attention to shortstop. You've said on the show you think it's Peraza's job to lose. After your conversation with Aaron, do you still believe that? Well, I still believe that. I'm not saying it's anything specifically based on what Aaron said, although he did talk about Peraza first. And I think the Yankees need to get younger. I think they need to get more athletic. And when they are the organization who has surveyed the free agent shortstop class for the last two off seasons and said, no, not interested in being a buyer at that table, We've got two young shortstops coming up. At a certain point, you have to let one of those shortstops be the guy. I think what he said about Volpe was interesting as well. He said Volpe will get a big run in spring training. He doesn't have as much AAA experience. So, Michael, I do think Peraza is the man heading into spring training. Well, I mean, Brian Cashman has told all three of the guys it's a competition. So I can't eliminate then IKF. Uh, what if he has a, a great spring and, and say Peraza is just a kid and he doesn't have a great spring? You can't give the job to Peraza, even though you want this infusion of youth and you want somebody from your farm system to take such an important job. I can't eliminate a guy they're paying a lot of money to this year as a, as a potential shortstop. He can hold that position for a month. If he's not playing well, maybe then you bring in Peraza. But, you know, a lot of people were down on, on kind of for left last year, 261, four homers, 48 ribbies. Obviously, the power wasn't there. He made difficult plays. Sometimes he made bad throws. But he does have a skill set, and he's he, he's somebody that the Yankees like so much. They pulled that trade with the Minnesota Twins, so I think he's got a chance to start as well. These young guys have to perform well to get the job. Here's the thing about spring training competitions, though, Michael, and I think this could apply here. A lot of times organizations will say there's a competition, but they're also leaning in a certain direction. And I just think that the organization is leaning yeah. toward Peraza as long as you said he doesn't come and and flop in spring training so that it can be described as a competition but every organization wants that competition to have a result in a certain way but you remember how tenuous spring training plans are you go back to 1996 Derek Jeter was not looking that great in spring training and the Yankees were talking with the Mariners about getting Felix Fermin so <laughs> And who are they going to trade? They were going to trade Mariano Rivera. They were going to trade Mariano Rivera. So, so imagine that double whammy. It, it's all <laughs> written in pencil. It really is. And, and believe me, what you do in spring training, and this is going to be a weird spring training, you might not be facing the best players either. You might not be facing the best pitchers because they're going to be at the WBC. So it's going to be really important for the Yankee staff, Aaron Boone and, and his staff, to look beyond the numbers. you got to see other things as well. Let's turn our attention to left field and the competition there. Aaron Boone mentioning Aaron Hicks hoping for a bounce back season. A lot of options. You could play Stanton out there a little bit. Hicks, Floreal, Oswaldo Cabrera had eight career starts out there. Looked very comfortable. They brought back Billy McKinney. You see Rafael Ortega and Willie Calhoun. As you look at that, Michael, do you think the starting left fielder is on that list right now? I think it's probably Hicks. Yeah. Unless they pull off the deal. And I, I don't think the Reynolds deal is going to get done. People are talking about Jurickson and Profar, who's still out there uh, as a free agent. Of all of those, Hicks has a three-year contract remaining with the Yankees at $10 million a year. I think they look at Cabrera more as a, he could play all around the diamond. I think Hicks is going to get the first shot. But don't despair. I know Yankee fans are throwing things at the TV, not just because my face is on it, <laughs> but what I'm saying. But... Teams evaluate over two months exactly what they have, and then they go into the trade deadline, and they make a deal, and there could be a left field that shakes free at that point. I'm glad you said that. I was about to say it's a 162-game season, so we all target opening day as we should, and we talk about who's going to be your opening day shortstop, who's going to be your opening day left fielder. Aaron Boone said during that interview I had with him when he talked about shortstop, it might be different on opening day than it is on May 15th. So I think the left field situation has to shake out. Hicks, as much as Yankee fans don't want to hear it, does have the lead in that competition right now. I think Cabrera's value is in being a utility player. Interesting, though, sometimes folks give you answers within an answer. The fact that Boone brought up Calhoun, who is a non-roster invitee, just somebody to keep an eye on in spring training.